up everybody welcome back to the Oak Street Football Channel and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys my predictions for the Pac-12 this season. The Pac-12 season is about to kick off. Um, it is the last Power 5 conference to kick off um, and uh, today like I said I'm going to be making my predictions. So um, I'm going to be going over the Pac-12 South and then the Pac-12 North and then um, the, uh, the Week 7 games and then the Pac-12 Championship. So, um, if you don't know, the way the Pac-12 is going to work this year is that each team starts off with six regular season games. A few games have been canceled, which I'll talk about in a second, um, but five or six regular season games. Um, and then, um, based on the standings of each division, it, that's going to decide who plays who in week seven. So, for example, whoever finishes fourth in the Pac-12 South will play the team that finishes fourth in the Pac-12 North um, in the uh, in week seven. So basically, it's it's like every team plays a championship game. So every team is going to play seven games. So you, there is um, the normal conference championship, but every team is going to play in the same week um, as the conference championship. So it's kind of interesting. Um, but I think it works out pretty well, and I'm kind of excited to see how it happens. Um, and then um, the other thing I was going to say before I get into my predictions is, of course, a few games have been canceled due to um, the COVID-19 pandemic. There have been some um, some occasions where um, already in Week 1 games have been forced to be canceled, um, which is unfortunate. It definitely is. Um, I... I think I have hope and I do believe the season can finish, um, but it's looking less likely right now. But um, I'm not going to try and talk about that in this video. I just want to talk about um, my predictions, um, and I'm very excited for the season. So without further ado, I'm going to get into it, starting it with the Pac-12 South. Um, and at number six in the Pac-12 South, I have Arizona. In my opinion, Arizona is probably the worst team in the Pac-12 this year. They're just not a very good football team. I like their quarterback, Grant Gunnell, um, but other than that, I really don't think it's a very good football team overall. Um, it's not very talented overall. Not really much to say about them. I just don't think they're a very good team, um, and I can't really see them winning a game. Um, uh, this week, their game against Utah was canceled, um, which, you know, I think they were going to lose that game anyway, so it, they go from 0-5, or 0 and 6 to 0 and 5. Um, I just don't think this is a good football team. I have my 0 and 5. Um, at number 5, I have Colorado. I did a video on my Colorado football predictions um, a day ago. Um, or, well, depending on when you're seeing this, but when I'm recording this, a day ago. Um, so, if you haven't checked that out, go check it out now. But um, I'm a fan of Colorado. I'm hoping they do good this year. I'm finishing 2 and 4. Um, I think that they're okay. They have a new coach, a new quarterback, so it's it's definitely going to be interesting this season. Um, but there definitely are some really, really good players on this team. Um, a few good players on defense. Alex Fontenot uh, on the offense, the running back, um, one of the best players uh, on the team. There definitely are some good players. I, I definitely think so, but um, overall... It's not the best team. I have them finishing 2-4. and four. At number 4, I have Utah. Now, this may be a little lo low for Utah. You might think I'm at 2-3. and three. Um, The reason I have this is, well, first of all, the game against Arizona got canceled, which I think would have been a win. So, that goes that takes away from their 3-3 three and three record, breaks them down to 2-3. and three. Um, And then, they're losing a lot of production from last year, so I expect them to struggle early. They have to play two solid teams in Arizona State and USC. I think they'll lose both of those games. And then I think they'll lose game they probably should uh, maybe against UCLA. And then later in the year, I think that's when they'll start to play well, win some games. Um, so I think 2-3 and three is a solid record for them. For me, it's really between 2-3 and three or 3-2. Three and two. I think this team is okay, but um, I think 2-3 and three is, a, is a good record prediction for them. Um, uh, at number 3, I have UCLA. I think UCLA will definitely improve the season. I have them finishing 3-3. Three and three. Um, their schedule isn't too tough. Um, it's, it's definitely not the easiest. They do have a few tough games on there. Um, but I think, I think they will get better this season. Um, to be honest, I do think UCLA will get better, um, this year. I think three and three is a solid record for them. Um, I could see them losing one more game in this. I think a good prediction for them is somewhere between two and four, um, and three and three. Um, at number two, I have USC now. Some people, or USC is actually the favorite to win the division. 
Um, but I do have them at number two. I di- I think they will lose week one against Arizona State. Um, but then I think they'll win their last five games the regular season, finish five and one. I think USC is a very good football team um, overall. Uh, they're bringing back uh, sophomore Keaton Slovis, who was very very good um, as a freshman last year. Um, this team has a lot of. It is a very good offense. It's going to be an explosive offense this season. Um, Amon Ross St. Brown is a very very good. Uh, wide receiver. I think he's one of the best um, in the Pac-12. I think this USC team's offense is great, um, and I think their defense is pretty good as well. Um, so I think this team's definitely good. I've been finishing 5-1, and one, and at number one above them, I have Arizona State. Some people may think that uh, Arizona State will finish two, USC will finish one, um, but I actually think Arizona State will win uh, this division. I think Arizona State will win against USC in week one, um, and I think their only loss will come against California. Um, I'll talk more about California later. But this team definitely has a lot of talent. Jaden Daniels, uh, the second-year quarterback, um, was really solid as a freshman. Um, but they were handing the ball off a solid amount um, to Eno Benjamin. Eno Benjamin is gone. I think the pass game is definitely going to get better um, for, or it's going to they're going to use the pass game more uh, for Arizona State this season. Um, Jaden Daniels only threw two interceptions last season. Um, so if he does that again, no, I think he could, uh, be a candidate for one of the best players, um, in the Pac-12 this season. I think he's a really solid quarterback. In my opinion, he's the second best game, or sorry, uh, player, quarterback, um, in the Pac-12. Um, but those are my Pac-12 South predictions. Moving on to the Pac-12 North. At number six, I have Washington State at 0-6. I just don't think Washington State is a very good team overall. Um... Max Borgie, they have Max Borgie, who is a very, very good running back. Um, but other than that, this team really doesn't has much. Uh, doesn't have much. Um, I think maybe they can win one game somewhere um, against Oregon State or Stanford. Um, but I, I don't see this team winning um, more than one or two games this season. I really don't think they're incredible. Um, but Max Borg, he's a great player, like I said, but not a great team overall. At number five, I have Oregon State. I don't think Oregon State's a bad football team. They just have kind of a tough schedule this year. Um, I, I think they could win more games than this. They definitely have a few good players, um, but they are losing a bit of production, which I think is going to hurt them this season. I think they'll drop a few more games, um, than they maybe should. I think they'll be in a lot of close games, um, but still, I, I think they will only win one or two games in the regular season this year. Not a bad team, just not, you know, as good as some other teams in this division. Um, and number four, I have Stanford. Stanford wasn't all too good last year, uh, but I do have them going up to two and four this season. Um, I think that'll be a solid record for them. I think Stanford is an okay team overall. Um, they're not great, um, but they're definitely not bad. Um, and I think two and four is a solid record prediction for them. Um, I think they can beat Oregon State and Washington State. Um, they also have Colorado on the schedule, which I think they could win there. Um, their schedule isn't too tough, and I could see this team winning three uh, games this season. At number three, I have Washington. Washington um, is only playing five games this season because their game against Colorado was canceled. Um, and I've been finishing four and one. Uh, Washington is losing. Uh, I believe they're getting a new head coach and a new starting quarterback, um, but... This team, they have a really easy schedule. They do have to play Oregon, which is going to be tough. Um, but now that they don't have California on their schedule anymore, their four games they play are Stanford, Oregon State, Washington State, and Arizona. Those At least three of those should be wins. Um, I don't see them winning um, or losing um, like more than one of those. Those are possibly... The four easiest games you could have in the Pac-12. Maybe you throw in Colorado in there, but still. Washington should win four games. I'm losing to Oregon, but I think Washington's a solid team this year. They definitely have some very, very good players. And number two, I have California. Um, California's a very good team, in my opinion. Very underrated. Um, I think California could win this division. Um, it really comes down to that Oregon game, Oregon-California. That's going to be very important. Um, uh, California, of course, is not playing their... Uh, all six games because of the 
canceled game against Washington. But California, I think this team is really good, really underrated. They were a solid team last year, and I expect them to improve more this season. Um, one of the dark horse candidates to win the Pac-12 this season. I'm finishing 4-1, and one, second in the Pac-12 North, and winning it really shouldn't be too much of a surprise. Oregon, Oregon is uh, losing kind of a lot. They're losing the starting quarterback, Justin Herbert, from last season. Um, they've had a few players opt out, um, such as Penn I. Soul, I believe Javon Holland opted out. Um, but this team still has a lot of talent. Uh, Kayvon Thibodeau on defense is a really solid player. Um, the starting quarterback, Tyler Show, I think can be solid. I think that is one of the weaker points on the team, the quarterback. Um, but I still think this Oregon team is really good. I'm finishing 6-0. and Maybe they drop a game against California or Washington, but I think this team is good enough. Um, and I think they probably finished the season a top 10 team. Um, so those are my um, divisional predictions. Now I'm going to get into my week 7 game predictions. Starting off um, with the number 2 team versus the number 2 team. Uh, the number 2 team in the south, USC, versus the number 2 team in the north, uh, California. Um, and I'm going to say USC wins this one. Uh, USC, you know, if my prediction is correct, they're going to be coming off a 5-game win streak. Um, and I think USC overall probably is a bit better than Col or, sorry, California. I think California is definitely a, a really solid team this season. Um, but I think USC wins this one. I think their offense is too good. Um, and I think California would, you know, have some struggles and not be able to keep up. Um, the number three team versus the number three team, UCLA versus Washington. Um, I'm going to go Washington here. I think Washington's a really good team. Not great, but uh, pretty solid. And I think UCLA is just about average. Um, which, you know, even though I have them at 3-3, three and three, third in the division, um, their schedule really isn't too tough. Um, so, I, I think that, I definitely think Washington would win this game. I think Washington is the better team, um, and I think Washington would be able to win this game. Um, number four versus number four, Utah versus Stanford. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that Utah uh, wouldn't win this week game. I think it's Utah. I think Utah starts getting heat, uh, starts heating up. Late, later in the season, um, and I don't think they should have too much trouble with Stanford. Uh, Utah, in my opinion, is a really solid team, but they'll struggle early. They'll bounce back later in the year. Um, this is going to be their last game of the season, most likely, unless they make a bowl game. All right, this is going to be their last Pac-12 game of the season, and I, I don't see them losing to Stanford. I'm going to go um, with uh, Utah. Number five versus number five, Colorado versus Oregon State. This is a tough one for me as a Colorado fan, um, but I'm going to say Oregon State wins this one. I think these teams are pretty even, um, but I think it could go either way, but I think it makes sense to have um, Oregon State winning this one. Uh, I think Colorado's going to be better at this point in the year, but I think Oregon State will be the same. Um, they'll be more used to um, you know, what they're going to have this season. Um, so I think this could be a close game. I think it'll be, you know, decided by three points, but, um, I'm going to go Oregon State. Um, uh, and the final game, Arizona versus Washington State, I think this will be a close one, probably, maybe. Um, I'm going to say Washington State wins, and I think Washington State is the better team. Um, I think Arizona is the worst team in the Pac-12. I'm going to say, um, Washington State wins this one. And then the Pac-12 championship, Oregon, Arizona, or uh, Arizona State, excuse me. Um, I think this could be an interesting game, but for me, uh, Oregon definitely is the better team, and I think it would be a pretty big win for them as well. I'm going to say 37-24 uh, as the final score. So, Oregon is my Pac-12 champion. Um, you know, maybe they can sneak into the playoffs. I think it's unlikely, but as a 7-0 team, it's possible. But uh, Oregon is my Pac-12 champion pick. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you are new around here, feel free to subscribe for more NFL and college football content. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.